Welcome to the Shotgun Journal. Brought to you by Caesar Guarini, makers of fine hunting and competition shotguns. When we left last night, we were in the middle of the Yanks versus the Brits shootout. Well, by the way, the Yanks won it. Now, we're going into the final day of the World English Championship, and it's pretty tight up at the top. We have Wendell Cherry with a 98, Richard Falls with a 98, Ben Huskwaite with a 97, Anthony Matteris with a 96, and Bill McGuire with a 96 also. So this, you know, it could change quickly, and especially once, once they go into the shoot-off arena for the final 25 birds. But there's still many events going on. There's the make a break, there's practice fields, there's uh, the small gauge, the fit test, the five stand. You know, aside from shooting the many events, when people come to the National Shooting Complex, one area that they really enjoy is Vendor's Row. You'll see people looking for new gadgets, looking for new guns, just all sorts of things. Any manufacturer that's manufacturing stuff for the shooting industry is well represented here. Okay, this is the new Challenger Ascent. This is one of our new guns for 2013. The Challenger Ascent comes based off the uh, Summit Ascent model. It is an upgraded version with a highly engraved box lock receiver and upgraded wood. The Ascent models are high fixed rib guns. You're looking at a 10 millimeter rib tapered from 10 down to eight. You've got the uh, DTS adjustable cone system as well as the DTS adjustable trigger. All our barrels are very lightweight. You're looking at chrome line barrels, overboard as well as a five inch length and forcing cone. All the guns come with six competition screw in choke tubes. All of our guns come with a lifetime warranty as well as with the pit stop program which is a three year tune up program. Yeah, down here in San Antonio at the World English Sporting Championships, uh, I really enjoy coming to this event. It's, it's a different kind of a shoot. You know, uh, most times when you shoot 200 targets, the high score or ties shoot off. Uh, here, you just, the high scores, the top six scores, go into a 25 bird final shoot off, and that 25 targets is added to your 200 bird score. And uh, boy, I tell you, I've seen some leads switch up pretty quick in that format. It's really exciting. This is George Digweed shooting. He shot a 93 yesterday. I'm sure it's not up to what he would like to have shot. He's uh, five birds behind the leader, Wendell Cherry. But you never count George out. Oh. 
here we've caught up with Team USA. They're all shooting on the same squad. This is Bill McGuire going into the last day. Bill had a 96 tied with Anthony Matteris. Next up is Gebin Miles, former national champion, as was Bill McGuire, also a former national champion. Next up is Scotty Robertson. Now, they're obviously shooting more than one pair here. Actually, this station required shooting of four pair. Next up is John Kruger, affectionately called Mr. Sporting Plays. John has been shooting this sport ever since it came into our country. And Wendell Cherry, going into the last day, he had posted a 98 on Saturday. Same as Richard Falls, so he's tied, so the pressure's on here. This young lady is Annabelle Ayers. She is the reigning National Ladies Sporting Clays champion. She won the National Ladies Championship when she was the ripe age of 13. As Andy explained earlier, the World English ends with what they call a superfinals. Normally, the top six shooters go into the arena and shoot an additional 25 targets. But due to ties, our six has turned into nine. Richard Falls ended up with a 193. Wendell Cherry with a 192, Anthony Matteris with a 192, Derek Mime with a 191, Bobby Fowler with a 190, George Digweed 189, Bill McGuire with a 189, Sean Stitt with a 189, and Brian Hughes with a 189. Okay, we're getting ready to get underway. The Super Final is gonna consist of three different shooting cages. Gauge one would be on your left-hand side. The shooting order is going to be George Digweed first, Brian Hughes second, Bill McGuire third, Sean Stitt fourth, Bobby Fowler fifth, Derek Mine sixth, Wendell Cherry seventh, Anthony Matteris Jr. eighth, and Richard Falls ninth. We're starting with the lowest score first, coming out of the 200 target main event, and the order is based off of alphabetical last name for those that are tied. After we finish cage one, we will move over to cage two, and we will resort based off score, starting with the lowest score to highest. After cage two, we will do the same thing, resort over to our final cage, which is cage three. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh. Ooh. Lost dead. George Digweed from the UK just missed a target. Oh. Dead. Ball. Ooh. Dead loss. Dead pair. Who? Dead pair. Right. That was nine. Good shooting. Well shot. Out with an eight. Dead lines up. Wendell Cherry's on deck. Oh. Dead. Oh. Dead. Dead pair. Sit with a 197. George Digweed with a 199. 
Bill McGuire with a 201. Wendell Cherry, 203. Brian Hughes, 203. Anthony Battery Jr., 204. Derek Fine, 205. Richard Falls, 206. And Bobby Fowler, 207. The targets for the last station of the Super Shootoff consist of a springing teal trap shot at about 35 yards, followed by a fast crossing target off of the tower at about 40 yards. Pull. Lost it. I believe that the super shoot-off has just about come down to a two-man shoot-off. Richard Falls and Bobby Fowler. Richard Falls seems to be shooting his Caesar Guarini quite well. That makes Richard Falls of the UK the 2013 World English Champion, with Bobby Fowler runner-up and Brian Hughes third. For a complete listing of the World English results, go to winscoreonline.com. To see the full line of Caesar Guarini shotguns, go to guarinausa.com. And while you're there, thank them for bringing you the Shotgun Journal. <laughs>